slurry. Woo! <laughs> I just burp. Thank you so much for being here. So if you are new, I highly encourage you to go to a different video because today we're doing a challenge, okay? My girl, Jay Vaness from A Girl With A Garden tagged me on that Never Have I Ever Planty Challenge. And to be honest, I've never done any challenges or tags before because nobody asks me, nobody invites me, everyone's so just kidding, but I've never done a tag before. So I thought it would be fun to do this one so one main factor into making this challenge or this tag more fun is of course some cocktails and since it's almost noon <laughs> why don't we go ahead I'm just kidding it's way past noon okay why don't we go ahead and get another round since your girl has already been drinking tell me below if you're drinking a cocktail if you're gonna drink a boba a kombucha apple juice whatever it is why don't you come with me and i'm gonna go ahead and make another round okay so let's go Halikana. Today's drink of choice, Jameson Mule, which consists of three really simple ingredients. One, Jameson, not sponsored. Ginger beer, I don't have ginger beer, but I have ginger ale, bulb, a lime, some ice. This is the only ice that I have left. Okay, so we are back in my office. I've got my drink. I've got my whiskey mule. Typically, it's known as a Moscow mule made with vodka, but I'm not the biggest vodka person. I prefer Jameson or some kind of whiskey. Jameson, really, because I'm a basic. So Javaness has compiled a list of planty statements, and if this statement is true to you, you must take a drink. If not, you don't take a drink, I'll probably still drink anyways. She made these adorable little cards that say I have and I have never so you could hold it up. I don't have those cards, so I just made some bootleg papers that say yes, I have and I have never. So we're just gonna use these. The first one, never have I ever killed a cactus. Girl, I have never killed a cactus because why? I am a new cactus mom. If you didn't know, these are all like a new new thing for me. So I've never actually killed a cactus before and I hope to never have. Number two, never have I ever took a plant cutting that was on the ground in a plant nursery. Okay, so this is a little tricky because I've never like walked around a, a like a plant store and actually saw one on the ground and taken it or taken a cutting, but there was this one time, I'm a regular at one of these plant stores out here and one of the workers there actually gave me a cutting and what he basically did was pull it off of a plant and yes, I took it. So does that count? I feel like that doesn't count because I didn't take it. He gave it to me. So essentially, it was like a gift. So no, I have never taken a cutting from a plant nursery or I've never like took one. Okay, I did take, I'm just gonna drink. <laughs> Number three, never have I ever spent $100 on one plant. Now this is very difficult. Actually, it's gonna be a I never. Wow, I am boring. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't know if that's a surprise or not. I've never spent $100 on a plant. I've spent over $100 on two because there, one was like 50, one was like 70 bucks. But on a single plant, girl, that is a lot, okay? You would have to take out a small business loan for some of these plants that you guys are buying. Never have I ever bought a plant just because it was trending on Instagram. Yes, I have, girl. So let me drink first because I am thirsty as a beginner plant mom I think the plant that I bought was the monstera the pilea what else I think those were the only ones really that was super trending on Instagram when I got started um, other than that have I bought anything that was trending on Instagram okay no I didn't buy that one so yeah those were the only things that I bought so yes monstera and a pilea and I can't really think of anything else right now but I'm pretty sure I've done that so I think that calls for more drinks Okay, number five, never have I ever met another plant tuber. Girl, yes I have. Let me drink first, okay. So I have met Becca of De La Plants. We met about a year ago. We were at my favorite nursery over here in LA. She was in town from Arizona. We went to a live taping of the podcast Bloom and Grow Radio. I'm sure you've heard of that. And I don't exactly know the detail. I wanna kick myself because 
I, all I remember was meeting her and giving her a really, really big hug, which I think could have scared her a little bit. I don't know. Oh, of course I've met Nicole of My Clean Leaves. You all know Nicole. We met up about a couple of months ago when we were allowed to go outside, go to a plant shop. We met up again at another favorite local nursery out here in LA called Mickey Hargitay's Plants. We met up and she actually did a vlog about it. Never have I ever neglected a plant and then purposely let it die a slow death. <sighs> yes, I have. And that is a maidenhair fern. Why? Because she deserved it. If you've had maidenhair ferns or any kind of ferns for that matter, you know that they deserve a slow, torturous death because it's just how they are. Also, all my calatheas. We, I feel like we've gone through this before, but yes. Never have I ever purchased a plant and then later regretted it. And if I have, what plant was it? I feel like I've done that so many times. I have done that with so many plants. Let me look around. Oh, hold on, let me get it. Okay, so one plant that I purchased and regretted is this Philodendron Red Emerald. It actually doesn't look that bad right now if we really take a look at it closely, but when I first got it, it was huge. And the growing pattern was just all over the place and I could not find the room for it here in my office. So I kind of was just so frustrated with it. I wanted to give it away, but of course my roommate wanted to keep it. What is it with guys and like not wanting to get rid of any plants? For any plant that I get that I'm kind of like, I'm over that one, he never wants to get rid of it. So this was the one that I was really regretful of buying just because I didn't like how it grew out. But now looking at it, it's actually kind of cute, right? I even cleaned it with mayo. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? I was supposed to drink. Hold on. So never have I ever bargained with a plant seller while on a sale of a plant. So I'm boring, I've never. I am those people that don't like to haggle. I don't like to bargain. If I want something and I have the coin for it, I just get it. I love the swap meet. Do you like the swap meet too? I, I love going there. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Anytime there was anything at the swap meet that I wanted to get, swap meet, flea market, those are definitely the type of places where you could haggle, right? I never wanted to do it. I just was like, eh. I don't know, I guess I'm lazy and boring. So no, I've never. Let's go to the living room. It's getting really hot in here. I don't know if it's because I'm drinking, probably. But okay, so we are now in the living room because I got really hot in that office. I don't know if it's because I'm drinking <laughs> or it's just hot. Okay, so number nine. So number nine is never have I ever killed a rare plant. Ooh, this one is so juicy. When you see this rare plant that I killed, hold on, let me actually go get it. <laughs> Can you guess what this plant is? Can you? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with Schmink, Schmincess, Schmilodendron. <laughs> This is the pink princess philodendron. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't think it's really dead yet. It actually has some new growth coming out, but it suffered from root rod. Root rod. <laughs> it's totally my fault because, am I slurring? Oh my God. Start over, take five. Okay, so this pink princess philodendron, I thought it would be really nice to have this and put top dressing on it. I don't think top dressing really works unless it's on a cactus. So I did that with it and it died. Okay, but then it looks like it's coming back to life. So yes, girl, I have killed a rare plant. So that calls for a drink. Never have I ever drove an hour to shop at a plant nursery. Yes, girl. I'm like almost finishing this drink. It was in San Diego at Annie's Garden Gems. I wanted to see this beautiful Hoya heaven. So I went really early in the morning. It took over two hours because there was traffic. This again was the time where we were allowed to go outside. Okay, so this was like two months ago. And I went over there and spent more than I wanted to on two Hoyas, but it was worth it. In case you didn't see it, I'm gonna put it right up here. But yes, I definitely have. And did I already drink for that? I don't remember. Next question. Never have I ever bought a plant that was so large it could barely fit in my car. Okay, so for that one, that would be a I never because I don't have that many big plants. I think I have a pasta xanum right there and my roommate slash fiance actually has a truck. So he is able to put all my large plants in his car. 
and I've never had to do it in my little car, okay? Okay, so next question. Never have I ever showered with my plants. What? Never, but I am not opposed to it. I'd be totally down to shower with my plants. Wow, I am slurring. <gasps> Phone! <laughs> Hi. There he is. Never have I ever went on a new plant buy and it was successful. I have never because I don't put myself on a no plant buy. I put myself on a if I love it, I buy it. If I don't love it, I don't buy it. So I don't really put myself on any restrictions. Oh my gosh, I'm so boring. <laughs> never have I ever gotten a plant for free. Girl, I totally have. I've totally gotten free plants, plant swaps for one. Great source to, source, great, great place to get free plants. Also, a couple of owners may have given me a couple of free plants, you know, just for being nice and for coming all the time. And sometimes they gift you. They gift you with plants. And I would say that's one of the best parts about being a plant lover. And you know, when you make friends with these, I don't do it to get free plants, don't get me wrong. But if I'm there and they feel it in their heart to just gift me something, I'm not going to decline. I I've actually declined because, you know, I don't want to take their inventory. Never have I ever bought a plant as a gift but then decided to keep it for myself. Yes, I have. Okay, when I show you why I decided to keep it, you will be like, you good, good idea. This, I'm getting tangled. So this beautiful Monstera Edinsonii, I bought not necessarily as a gift, but it was supposed to go to someone because he could not find it in his area. So I said, let me go get you one. Oh my God, will you take a look at this one? If you have known me for a while, if you've been here for a while, you know I love Monstera Adansonii. So I am so open to find the best one to gift it, not gift it, but to get it for someone who can't find it. So he could not find this one. And I was like, sure, I'll get you one, but look at it, right? Look how gorgeous this is. This is the, this is the wide leaf version. I don't know. I don't care. If it's a Monstera Adansonii, I love it, okay? I don't care. Wide leaf, skinny leaf. I'm gonna get it. So <laughs> he ended up actually finding it for himself. So your girl gets to have a third Monstera Adansonii. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't drop. Never have I ever sold a plant online. Okay. <laughs> I just burped. I have never because I am scared that if I would ship something online that it would get damaged and something would happen to it. So I have never sold a plant online, but who never say never, just like Justin Bieber said. Do you wanna buy any of my plants? Let me know down below if you want, if I have any plants that you wanna buy. Never have I ever deleted a mean or inappropriate comment on YouTube. <gasps> yes, I have. So yes, I definitely have deleted a mean or inappropriate comment on YouTube, but not before I have clapped back, girl. This is how I see it. If you're coming to my house, if you're coming to my page and you're just like throwing poop on the floor, before I clean the poop up, I'm gonna pick it up and throw it back at you. That is how I feel, okay? So don't come for me with that. Next question or statement. <laughs> We're back. There was a lot of commotion inside the house and I was getting really hot. I think I am drunk. I drank that really, really fast, but I actually have a really high tolerance. So I'm not really sure where that coming. Oh, I can't talk. I got my drink. I got my, my card. Welcome to my backyard. Hi. Never have I ever bought a plant with the intent of propagating its cuttings for sale. When I'm buying these plants, these birds out here are crazy. I don't know if you can hear them, but there is a lot flying around and they are very loud. I never really buy plants with the intent of selling them. I always buy them because I love them. So I never really think about, I guess, coming up or making money off of them. I don't know, maybe I should. I know a lot of people are doing that, but personally, I've never really thought of doing that. Maybe I should, I don't know. It feels so good out here. That was a I've never won, but I actually just want to have a drink because it feels so good. Also, um, my roommate came home with some ice. Yes. 
Never have I went to a big box store run and not gone to the garden center. Okay, I've never done that. So that would be an I have never before I liked plants. I don't even think I went to Home Depot or Lowe's to be honest. I would just let my roommate go or my dad would go. I would just never go. Like why? What is that Home Depot and what is that Lowe's for me? Never have I ever met some of my followers in person. Girl, yes I have. Let me take a drink because she is thirsty. I have totally met followers or subscribers or what I like to call it, my plomies in person. Did I say I have? So yes, I've totally met plomies in person. Please, if you see me at a store, let's fast forward to a year from now and we're allowed to go outside. Hopefully it's not a year from now. And you see me at Mickey's or at Folia or at Home Depot for one for one miraculous reason, please come up and say hello, say what's up, and show me the plant that you're gonna buy. And if you show me a Calathea, I will not talk to you. I'm just kidding. That's one of my favorite things to do because that is what this was for, was to connect with people that also like the same thing as us. So why not meet the people that you actually connect with, right? So have I drank yet? Yes, I have. <laughs> I never thought I would have this much fun doing a tag because I just never really thought of doing them, but tag me in everything. So speaking of tags, who am I gonna tag for this? And I think that I would love to tag my Plomy, my OG plant homie, CPG, crazy plant guy, AKA Christian. I tag you to do the never have I ever planty challenge and anyone else that wants to do it i am all inclusive everyone is a plomy everyone is a friend if i don't tag you consider yourself tagged anyways but right now just for the sake of this video because we're supposed to tag someone crazy plant guy you're up thank you so much i appreciate you watch a different video i'm gonna put him right here bye <laughs> it's been a minute I never finished Cheers. what I was saying. I'm speaking up, conversating. My fears are what got me jaded. Until I went and flipped the script, and now the music's the only thing that I'm craving. I wonder if I will blow. Wonder if I will know.